guys, this is going to be a June favorites. I cannot remember the last time I did a favorites video. I think it was in 2016. So this is my first favorites of the year. Yay! But I thought I'll show you a couple of cool things that I've been liking and I'm starting to try to get my way back into vlogging a little bit more regularly. So I'm starting off with these like basic type of no fail kind of videos. So let's get started. So first of all, a couple of nail items. The first one is my new favorite nail polish top coat and this is the one by OPI. So I've kind of moved from one amazing nail polish top coat to another. This is my current, current favorite one. This is the OPI plumping nail polish and it's supposed to um, allow your nail polish to look like it has that very plumped up gel effects type of nail which is what all polishes are trying to do at the moment um, but generally these um, this one I usually use two coats of it and it gives a really really nice shine throughout the week um, I do have it on my nails at the moment so this is just a one day type of thing but it generally stays very nicely throughout the whole day it dries up really really fast so I really like it I got this off uh, in Watson's and I highly recommend it Okay, a couple of nail polishes that I've kind of fallen back in love with um, and the first one is the Bella Oji Gel Effects Nail Polishes. So I only have about two colours of these. I'm trying to find more colours that I can actually get but it's a little bit difficult to kind of track it down. I sell it in Sasa as well but I went to the Sasa in Wisma Atria which is supposed to be one of the bigger ones and I couldn't find this particular brand. So if any of you know where I can actually get this in Singapore let me know because the nail polish uh, in here is superb like it has really really good quality I really like that the brush of it is very flat and very thin and it just makes DIY nail polishes so much easier to do and the color is really really shiny even without the top coat but when you use this together with a top coat from OPI it's like OMG type of thing so I really really was impressed by that and the yeah. one that I've kind of fallen back in love with is the bourgeois nail polish and I do have it on my nails at the moment this has got to be like my favorite nude of all time I've tried a lot of nudes I don't usually go for nude polishes because they just get cuffed very easily but on my main nails that's what I have at the moment two coats that's all you need it's very very flattering and it's just very foolproof this particular color is in a color beige distinction and it's a drugstore product so you can't go wrong with the price again the type of brush that you get from here is very flat and it's so easy to apply on your nails if you're doing it on your own at home so i got this baby here from nyx this is an eyeshadow base i got this off very randomly on rain Mart of all places because i was just trying to check out what do they have on their beauty section and they have this and yeah. I was watching a lot of like NYX face awards um, type of videos like hauls and a lot of people are raving about like certain products from NYX and this is apparently one of their better products this and particular color is in ESB number three and it is very skin tone like when I put it on my eyelids it basically just blends it out really easily and it I've got really really dark eye circles at the moment I don't think I'm getting enough sleep uh, so this really helps to either just put it on and then I just put on eyeliner or I can actually put on some eyeshadow on top of it. So I've tried and tested this with uh, with and without uh, eyeshadows and it works really really well. And up is something from SK2. It is the facial treatment eye essence. Uh, I'm not sure what range this is from but and I'm not sure why I got this. Oh I got this because I was able to redeem a couple of things from my spa and I decided to try out their uh, their eye essence because this is something that they use on me when uh, whenever I go to the spa It's just very very uh, easy to use on a daily basis I basically put like one pump and it's enough for me to actually go over the eyes and on top of the eyes So when I use this I kind of try to follow what they did 
to, uh, with me in the spa is basically just putting it under my eyes and also above my eyes as well and I use this pretty much every day it's a really nice uh, simple and fast free product to use for your eyes next is a lip mask now I have been drinking a lot of water because I've been feeling really really uh, thirsty these days but for some reason my lips are getting cracked and they're very very dry and it's very obvious and sometimes um, I, I have to put on like lip color like this to, to not let people figure out that it's so cracked up and it's just really really dry so I've tried to like scrub my lips and um, on top of that I actually use this thing here which is the Laniche special care lip mask treatment and I've heard really good things about this uh, Vincent loves it and I got this for Christmas from my friend Jindin who apparently thinks very highly of it as well so Benefit main features are in Korean, so I can't tell you much, but um, it's a very, very cute bottle, very matte and all that, and then it's got a stopper here. Ooh. And then the product inside looks like this. So it does come with its own little cute spoon that you can spoon out the product and put it on your lips. But to be honest, you need very, very little of this. Like you can literally just use your fingers. It's much easier. And then you just put it all over the lips. So say that the only thing is throughout the night, your lips would feel oily. And you won't be able to kiss your partner like after you put this because it's very oily. And you know, I don't know whether I'm putting too much because I feel like if it's oily throughout the night maybe it's not been absorbing it well but the next day when I wake up my lips will generally be in a better condition and I just feel like okay at least I've done something through the night to help my lips so okay uh, another SK2 item is the facial treatment essence mask and this come in boxes and these are the last two that I have left but I absolutely love these these are a little bit pricey than your usual like face mask. I think they cost about 10 to $15 per mask uh, if I were to calculate how much it is in a box of 10. Uh, but I really like it. It's very, very um, relaxing. And sometimes I just have a tough day or I just want to relax. I've got a bad headache or something. I'll just lie down in my bed and I will put this mask on. It has a really different feeling from any other mask that I've tried. Uh, it does make your face feel really soft and uh, when I put this uh, mask on, I don't actually wash my face after that and I basically just sleep and uh, hope that the essence would actually go into my face. So I really like this. My husband really likes this to put it on before before we go to sleep as well it's just a very very um relaxing thing and very very nice to pamper yourself with so i like that okay last beauty items uh is a perfume this is the marry me perfume from lanvan um again something that i'm taking to do with my headaches and my migraines that i'm getting i don't know like sometimes in the morning i still get a lot of like nausea and i just feel very um I don't know, the last thing I want is to put on a very strong perfume because that would make me just feel a lot more sick. So when I do want to put on perfume, this is the perfume that I would actually reach out for. If you haven't smelt it before, go to the store and smell it. I can't think of anyone who would hate this smell. Okay, if you really do not like girly type of scents, you may not like this, but this is so um, floral and so sweet. It's very lightweight. Um, it's not long lasting, meaning that maybe halfway through the day, you might not be able to smell it, but it's one of those perfumes that you can just reapply because it's so lightweight. And I just, I just freaking love this. This is my second bottle of it already and I've been using it tons as you can see there. The last two items are food related items. The first one is Sky Flakes crackers and this is something that I've been going... You know like sometimes I, I'm really bad at eating breakfast and sometimes especially when it's a working day my day literally starts at 8 and meetings can start as early as 8.30 and I would just be going with it all the way until lunchtime which is at like 12 or 1ish and I won't be eating anything and in the past it's fine but right now I'm supposed to be eating for 2 so I 
need something really quick that I can actually gobble in. So these ones are really cool. You can get them in the original flavor or you can get them in the cheese flavor. The cheese flavor has a little bit more oomph to it, so I've been eating that. And within the, the cracker, it actually, you can break it off into three parts. So even though I can't finish the whole cracker, I can actually just eat um, little bits of it as and when I'm trying to do my work so it's been a lifesaver I just feel like I should be eating something during the day so this has been it and last but not least uh, my favorite um, go-to product whenever I have a sore throat and again even though I'm drinking a lot of water I'm still talking a lot usually during the weekdays so sometimes I do get a really bad sore throat and I really do not want it to go up to like a full-on fever or a flu so my go-to current um, remedy for like sore throats and stuff is this guy right here which is the fisherman's friend honey and lime uh, lozenges and I freaking love this I mean the taste of it is something that you need to get used to it's basically like honey and lime tea or your liang tea that you would get if you're sick um, but I really like the new packaging that they have they used to have like paper packaging and it's like there's no sealant and stuff but now it actually comes with a proper ziplock bag that you can actually zip it in. Um, the lozenges look like how they usually look um, but generally I feel like when I eat this my, my throat just feels a lot better. I am liking this and I really recommend it if you always find yourself falling sick and whatnot. So those are my June favourites. Um, a little bit of everything uh, and uh, these are the things that are quite basic but keeping me alive and uh, keeping me warm and refreshed and uh, relaxed um, in this moment in time so I hope you guys enjoyed that if you have any questions about it let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in my next video bye